Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And today we'll mark kind of a, a mini series we'll be doing on our daily devotionals together on the Ten Commandments. And so I'll be reading through the Ten Commandments, taking one at it, one commandment a day, and we'll be looking at what God was saying with these Ten Commandments. And so uh, we'll be in Exodus 20, as, as many of you might know. Exodus 20 is where the Ten Commandments come from. And, and just as, as a way of a bonus to kind of test your, your Bible knowledge, can anyone answer in the comments where, the, where else the Ten Commandments are located? So Exodus 20 is one, and then there is one other place in the Bible where the Ten Commandments are listed. So uh, give me, give, in the comments, to leave your answer, see if you know where else the Ten Commandments are located. But to begin in Exodus 20, I want to begin in verses 1 and 2, and it says, Then God gave the people all these instructions. I am the Lord your God who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. And so God begins right there. Before he even lists out the Ten Commandments, he says, remember who I am. He says, remember what I've done for you. Because now he's going to list these commandments. And some of these commandments seem like they're going to be pretty hard to follow, especially for the people of Israel, because they constantly break them. And so before the people of Israel start bellyaching and saying, whoa, you're asking too much from us, God. We can't possibly do this. God is saying, remember who I am and remember what I've done for you. He says, I have rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. And so God is telling them, he's saying, I didn't have to rescue you, but he did it. And the people of Israel didn't have to follow God. They could have chosen to stay as slaves in Egypt. We have a choice. You and I have a choice that we could, we could live our life the way we want. We can serve the world all we want. Or we can follow God. That's our free will to choose. And so God is saying, you know, I am, I am the Lord who brought you out of Egypt. If you're going to follow me, he then gives us these commandments. And so my question to you is, is when you committed to following God, are you prepared to follow his instructions? You know, I've heard many people who pray the prayer of salvation, but they don't really make any changes in their life. They kind of use use the, the salvation that God has given them as, as just kind of an excuse to continue living their own way because they say, oh, God will forgive me. But are you prepared to follow the instructions God has given you? Because God is telling you the exact same thing he's told the people of Israel. I've rescued you. And if you want to follow me, he says, then there's rules for you to follow. And so as we look at these rules of the Ten Commandments, understand that they not only apply to the people of Israel, but for you and I. And so my message for you today is to seek after God, is to be willing to follow the rules God has given you because of all that God has done for you. Amen.